Hi howdy, Gamar Talim here, and today I'm going to be reviewing the Tezuka Productions era of Osama Tezuka's experimental short anime films. So before we actually get into it, I want to give a bit of history to this. After Osama Tezuka produced Genesis, which was the last experimental anime short that he produced at Mushi Production in 1967, uh, he moved on to a variety of other projects at Mushi Production, such as doing the Anime Rama trilogy, but Mushi Production ended up running into financial issues and was eventually shut down. And Osama Tezuka wasn't in a position to continue his experimental short anime films until the 1980s with his company Tezuka Productions. So in 1984 he began work on these experimental short anime films again and he would continue to work on them until his death in 1989. So let's start off with the first short, the first experimental anime short film that he produced at Tezuka Productions and that is Jumping. Now Jumping, uh, first off I should say, is covered very well in terms of its production in the Osama Tezuka story and was one of the reasons why I was intrigued to check out Osama Tezuka's experimental short anime films in the first place and jumping did not disappoint although I do admit that its appeal is probably very specific so jumping just to give you a bit of a summary of the story is about a person or individual uh, some kind of entity jumping uh, we're looking from the first person perspective and as they jump they keep jumping higher and higher and higher. There isn't anything particularly deep here in terms of the story. There are some nice comedic moments that help to liven up the story a bit, but the main thing here is the animation, and oh my god, the animation is fantastic. So the thing to appreciate about jumping is the fact that the entire environment is animated from cell to cell, and it is breathtaking. Now I don't know how many people realize how difficult environmental animation is, but it is unbelievably difficult. And it's one of the reasons why jumping is an experimental short, but the results is absolutely breathtaking. And if you are a fan of animation, I think you will be absolutely blown away by jumping. I think it is such a work of art and I think people really do need to check it out. After that, uh, we've got Broken Down Film. And Broken Down Film is a very funny one. It is presented as if it is a really old, really lost movie, but the deteriorated quality of the film itself is actually interfering with the characters themselves, and it produces a lot of wonderful gags. Now, admittedly, I do think that there are a couple of gags here and there uh, that overstay their welcome, uh, but in general, I think Broken Down Film is really, really funny. And I think that's why it's quite appealing to a lot of people. In terms of the animation, now the animation here is, again, excellent. Uh, the character designs, I have to say, have a very kind of classic Tezka look, kind of remind me a lot of his works in the 1960s. It is presented in mostly in black and white, and obviously it has a deteriorated look uh, because of the fact that it's meant to look deteriorated. And I think they do such a good job of making this look old, of making this look a bit broken down, of making a lot of jokes about projectors and film, etc, etc. And I think overall, I think Broken Down Film is, again, another really enjoyable short. After that, uh, we have a short called Push. Uh, now, Push is a bit unusual. It's very short, so the only information I can give you about the story is that it's set in a post-apocalyptic world uh, where things are provided to people through vending machines. And the story itself is pretty decent. It's got a kind of an amusing twist near the end. Even if the message of, I guess, environmentalism is a bit heavy-handed, um, I still think overall the story itself is pretty enjoyable. There's some nice jokes in there. With regards to the animation, the animation itself is pretty good. The art style actually kind of reminds me, and I don't know if you guys will understand what I'm talking about, but if anyone's seen Dilbert or anyone's Red Bone, it kind of reminds me a bit of the artwork for that in terms of the main character design. Now, I mean that in a positive sense. I think that the visual style for this short is pretty good. Uh, so I did enjoy it from that perspective. Next up we have Muramasa, uh, which is about a samurai who is traveling the countryside 
and stumbles across a straw figure uh, with a sword plunged into it. He takes the sword, and as the story progresses, we come to understand that the sword isn't any normal sword. So the story of Muramasa is very enjoyable. I love the setting, and the message behind the story is actually pretty good in and of itself. With regards to the animation, I do love the art style of this, but I do have to confess something here and that is I'm not actually the biggest fan of the animation itself. Now, in general, I think the animation can be pretty good, but there's a lot of moments in this where we're just looking at still images going into one another. And I kind of considered this acceptable in some of his earlier works, uh, enjoyable even, uh, but by this point, it was clear, both with the experimental shorts that he had done prior to this, as well as the experimental shorts he would produce afterwards, that this wasn't a limitation, that this was an artistic choice. And personally, I'm not the biggest fan of this, but nonetheless, I did end up enjoying Muramasa, even with that complaint. Now, next up, we have Legend of the Forest, and I actually did a full review of Legend of the Forest, uh, but just to quickly summarize, I think it's brilliant. Uh, it's my favorite amongst all of Osamu Tezuka's experimental anime shorts. In particular, part one. I think part one is one of the greatest pieces of animation I've ever seen. And part two, which is actually part four, is also really good as well. Um, not quite up to the standard of part one, but something I would definitely recommend. And finally, we have the last experimental anime short that Osamu Tezuka produced, and it's called Self-Portrait. And self-portrait is very short. It's only about 13 seconds long, which is unbelievably short. It's actually even quite hard to comprehend what you can do in 13 seconds. So I won't even like give the basic premise of this considering how short it is. I'll just say that it leads up to a pretty good gag at the end. Uh, one that makes a lot of people laugh. It certainly made me laugh. And I think uh, being able to make someone laugh in 13 seconds is very impressive. Along with that, the animation itself while not in stellar, is presented in a very stylish manner. And I think the animation really supplements the gag uh, by the end of the short. So in terms of self-portrait, I actually quite enjoyed it, uh, particularly given how short it is, that it's only 13 seconds. So that was my review of the experimental anime shorts produced at Tezuka Productions by Osamu Tezuka. And overall, I have to say that I really enjoyed these shorts. And I think if you're a fan of Osamu Tezuka, if you're a fan of experimental animation, you should definitely check these out. Uh, they are definitely worth watching. Of course, I'd love to hear what you guys think about these. Have you seen any of these experimental anime shorts? If you have, which ones did you like? Which ones did you dislike? Do you have any other interesting information to contribute about any of these shorts? And of course, if you have any additional information about Osamu Tezuka, about these experimental anime shorts, etc, etc, please leave them in the comments below. And of course, if you want to support the channel, I would encourage you to use my Amazon and Rice Stuff affiliate links in the description below, when you purchase an anime or manga, not only are you supporting me, not only are you supporting the channel, but you're also supporting the anime and manga industry. So I'd highly encourage you to use those affiliate links to purchase your anime and manga. Thanks for watching, don't forget to comment, rate, subscribe, and bye bye